Hello, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of All the Mods. Um, the 12th mod, four bonus mods. I don't know how long I'm going to keep track counting this. Uh, I know the episode's beyond number eight, but anyway. But not every episode. Um, every episode, sure. I'll do math. And uh, yeah, this server is brought to you by our kind sponsor, Apex Hosting. If you want to grab yourself a discount off your first month of server hosting, go check the links in the description and uh, use our codes. And you can grab yourself either 35% off if you're watching this in June or 25% off beyond that off your first month of hosting. Play some all the mods, maybe load up 1.20 vanilla, play with your friends. Thanks to them for sponsoring. How's it going, everybody? Long time no talk. Hello. Long time no talk. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I'm still fighting elements. The elements are, be are, are, are I'm at war with the elements. Were you able to um get any more uh uh whatchamacallit? Uh info, intel in between the episodes? Uh yeah, I I, mean, I studied it for a couple hours, but oh, okay, I, cool, cool. I, I I didn't retain any of it, so I'm still lost. Dang, that's unfortunate, dude. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I agree. Yeah. Jeez. But here we are, you know, it's just, it is what it is. I did uh, manage to make uranite, uh, uranite? Uh, yeah, uh, uh, seeds so you can grow your urine at night now. Oh, cool. So Thank you. you should, yeah. Um, so we got that going for us at least, which is nice. And uh, at the, I, at the, I, I ran a bit of cable at the last uh, episode and it's proving to be very useful. Um, did you? Working? Yes. Where's that cable going to? Uh, it's down by me at the, at the, um, farm. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, there's nothing in there. Now, I do have a fully sped up, um, smelter. We, it's not got, uh, it's not got all the slots in it yet, but, oh, man, I'm just, like, I feel like, the roles have reversed, and in many series lately, I've been the one setting up all the auto crafting and all the mechanism stuff. And I'm like, do I want it? Am I going to be doing this again? Am I going to be doing this again with the freaking stuff? And the if you want to hand it off to me, you just tell me. Wait, Pete, have you ever done the mechanism uh, auto crafting setup mostly in a series before? Uh, I did some auto crafting in VH season two with mechanism, yeah. Okay, but in one of our in one of our peen series, it hasn't really happened. No. Has it? Uh, you know what? Let's let's switch. You know, switch it up a little bit. You were <laughs> wow! <laughs> wow! Took it immediately, huh? You're wow! Like, okay. It's a, it, we, we do a rotation. We do a little rotation. You know. You know, little, speaking uh, of that, I was actually just in the process of doing a little rotation myself. I was uh, working on getting uh, Mao Sukai. Uh, oh, up, where you know? Oh, he wants to. He wants to yeah. one hit kill those orange boys for more gem reforges, eh? Huh? I was. If you were wondering why I wasn't talking too much last episode, two reasons. One, I have a migraine, but also I spent oh. like twenty-five minutes killing the same Shulker boss because that guy every two hits would teleport underneath the island oh. and. He dropped the piece of gear that I'm currently working on right now. It turned out to be worth it, but I'm not nice. going to let that happen again. But barely. See, uh, this is, I just love how, I just love how initially I had a problem, and now I'm working on, like, mechanism and stuff, and you guys are all about the reforges. Man, I just love to see it. I mean, yeah, I, I love just to see the did it the one time, but... There's no whatever you what is whatever, no, whatever whatever copium you need to have Squidward huff, Squidward you do not need to hide your love for Krabby Patties, okay? Uh-huh. You don't need to hide it anymore. Uh-huh. If Krabby Patties were a real thing, what burger do you think it would taste the most like? Um, Fast food restaurant. Like, what burger do you think you've eaten that's a that good question. resembles the closest to a Krabby Patty? Huh, that's a good question. Um, I almost feel like, for me, it might be close to, like, a quarter pounder from McDonald's. Really? I would, like, I would think In-N-Out, probably. Oh, you think so? I feel yeah. like Krabby Patties are a little lighter than that. I don't know. In-N-Out is not heavy. What, if you get, like, a single, it's pretty, it's a pretty light burgy. 
Definitely not heavy, but McDonald's almost feels like the candy of burgers in a way. Like you can bow they're, down they're, on they're, that in like a minute and a half. Their buns are sweet. That's that's like I swear I'm pretty sure there's sugar in their buns because that's probably, what I there's probably a little bit of sugar in everything. Yeah. Um, but yeah, their buns. Well, there's they, definitely sugar, dude. Have you ever got, looked at the ingredients? Sound like the bread aisle of a grocery store? There's high fructose <laughs> syrup and literally oh, yeah, everything is. in there. It blows my mind. Bread is so unhealthy. Like prepackaged bread in America, God. Yeah, but the but it tastes so much better than the un, than the regular stuff. Ugh. But it, I mean, like I've never actually been. I've never been that big on just like the you know, uh, sandwich white bread kind of stuff. It just it cannot compete with like a nice good you know airy sourdough loaf or so. Oh yeah, you got dude. That's oh one hundred percent agree. Um, I'll be able to make a sourdough loaf. <laughs> he would love to be. Able to do it. <laughs> what? One day. One day. <laughs> oh, I brought up a thing that Pete would like. Got the whole wheat down pretty well. Sourdough, eh, not yet. <laughs> right, right, right. It was it was fun seeing your attempts or your your original attempts at your bread maker. I think it was more of a science experiment than an attempt <laughs> at making bread. Okay, I mean, whatever you want to, however you want to look at it, but it, it was, <laughs> whatever copium I want to ingest, I guess that was that was uh, that was entertaining, and I was glad that you shared with us. I just need to get a starter going. I'm feeding Thanks for sharing it every with day, the class. Like a pet. Thank yeah, you. I, I bet, dude. I wonder if you like go on eBay if there's just some like crazy expensive sourdough starters that people are selling or something like that, bro. Get I actually okay. I actually um. When I was doing a, a video that I just had to record, um, I got sent for your a single link player series. To, no, this is totally sponsored thing. It's totally <laughs> separate. Um, anyway, but I got sent a link to um, just like these things that people were trying to sell on eBay. As far as like interesting packaged foods, there were like misprints of a of a of a chip. And they were like trying to get five thousand dollars because it was like, you know, folded wrong or something like that. Or a bag, a bag that was, you know, the all the chips were like crushed together into a ball. Which I'm like, hey, how do you know before you even open the freaking thing? But whatever. And they're like trying to get thousands of dollars. I'm like, what? Do you think someone's actually gonna buy this? What? What are we doing? And what is this a bag of? It's like a bag of chips. I mean, I feel like that's just kind of like bringing out the childhood you of how excited you get when you'd open up a bag of chips and you see like one chip that was just nine glued together and you'd yeah, be like, and they're oh like, my god, the mega chip. And everybody would be like, eat it! And then you do and you're in the hospital. You know. Oh, I didn't know it's the hospital of, part happened. That that seems well, I, I don't actually know about that, but I do wonder like if you ate one of those, you know, it's probably pretty undercooked in there. But yeah, anyway. Um... To what you were saying, though, yeah, it looks like sourdough starters are a pretty kicking thing on eBay. Lot how much? How much? Six dollars seems to be the common price point. Oh, okay, that's not actually not that's as not much bad. as I thought it would be. <laughs> I'm looking at like two hundred year old family heirloom, certified organic. Really? Uh, sourdough starter For maintained $6? since 1849. Uh, Bavarian Black Death Sourdough Starter, four hundred year old at history, active sour, six fifty nine. <laughs> oh, six hundred fifty nine. Okay, so there's some that are no, a little no, pricey. six dollars fifty nine cents. Oh, and I mean, huh. I guess it's like, I don't know how much of the actual starter they're selling because I'm looking at these and it says like five hundred and fifty eight sold, four hundred and seventy three sold, six hundred and twenty sold. So it's probably like a smaller portion, but that's interesting. Who just popped on by? Someone oh, you downstairs? Down and, and I I went just to warped in and rolled right on by, like without even acknowledging that I exist and am a person, and just like <laughs> ran right over my crops and just it doing their own thing, didn't care about anybody else. Okay, in the world. I did not run over your crops. <laughs> okay, pretty Let's sure that's get how it was. Clear. Pretty sure that's how it was. I saw him do it. Uh huh. I do, I do. I, I have it on CTV. Uh huh, MCTV. MCCTV. So, come down to base farm. MTV. Oh, frick, vein mine. God dang it. I'm getting my wires crossed on series. It was a bit of a run. Sick. <laughs> it was. 
It was a bit. What's up? At this moment, that Zena is not happy that we decided to make the <laughs> ship our base. Yeah, it's great. I love it. It's fine. What happened? It's fine. Hey, how you feel? It's Thirty fine. seconds of un unfiltered, no it's fine. judgment. I really don't. I don't mind it at all. It's. I just work with it. I just. I just work with what I got, man. Wait, why? So why we have warp stones. So what's the what's the issue? Oh, the issue. wiring. Oh. oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. It was a, it was a bit of a, it, it, you know, it, it took some effort, but we got there. It looks great, champ. It was Poggers indeed. It was Poggers champion. Yep, Poggers champion. It's my favorite kind of champion. <laughs> I don't always have a champion. When I do, it's a Poggers champion. It's Poggers. Poggers, Australian for champion. Dude, that should be... Has anyone, like, trademarked Poggers? Has Twitch trademarked Poggers to, you know, like, m develop a beer called Poggers? I don't think so. Ah, missed opportunity. They should think about that. Yeah. yeah missed opportunity. <laughs> I looked indeed. up Poggers on Google, and the first question is, why do gamers say poggers? <laughs> it's an interesting question, one we don't really have an answer to. Originating from an email on the sharing platform Twitch, poggers or pog is an internet slang term used to express enthusiasm, mostly among online gamers. The original emoji known as pogchamp was a screenshot of a streamer known as... Anyway. <laughs> the second question is, is poggers a swear word? Um, it's why not, is my is it? kid saying poggers? <laughs> it's on Cora. Why is my kid? Oh man, Cora. I uh, hate Cora. <laughs> nothing, nothing worse than wanting to find some information and then seeing the, the answer to the question that you're looking for, but it's Cora, and you're like, oh great. My this ten year old is... son keeps saying poggers whenever my wife and I are with him in the living room. Why? <laughs> Oh, I mean, God. it must be one of those undercover swear words the kids have these days. I mean, I think it's perfectly reasonable that like you hear some sort of random, you know, like, "What are you talking about? Why? Why, are, why is this a thing?" And and you know, trying to find out why is my kid saying this because it's not easy to keep up with the vernacular if you're, especially if they're, yeah. You know, I, mean, I, I just I can kind of I can see that, and I don't. As old men, we can empathize. I just you know like you don't always know. Yeah, no, you just don't know. Sometimes you sometimes don't you, you don't know, know the uh, the lingo, people head. God, I miss people head. I don't. That's so sad. Why don't it you went miss from head? like you being excited about the joke to now like you somehow became resentful and angry about it. And I don't know what I'm happened. letting I'm it retire. Uh, okay. <laughs> Dang. I'm Let sorry. it rest. I'm sorry for the this creation that that, that you hate. I'm hey, responsible um, for. By the way, oh. if I suddenly disappear, just know it's thundering really loud outside right now. That's oh, wow. Fun. I love it. Dude, in, love it. in June, that's wonky. Well, June's, oh, yeah. Uh, I love June... living in a desert climate. <laughs> Spokane's great. It's wonderful. It's bright and sunny in the morning, and, and now I'm hoping my power doesn't go out. Dang. You never know what you're going to get. You really don't. Life's man. like a box of chocolates. Never know what you're gonna get. How do I make these element pipes? That's what I. Man, I really want to get some speed. I'm. I feel really slow right now. It just doesn't feel good. Have Maybe. you tried running faster? I have, but my little leggies just won't do it. Ooh, that will For sure, do. We don't have legs. That will do right there. You know what? I'm willing to pawn off a... Wait, but that's only... Oh, no, that's 15%, not... Frick. You know what you do is you go to those gems. I, are there gems that do for. speed? I guess that oh, yeah. Be. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that yeah. Oh, yeah. That right there is nice. That's a 20% speed. 
Okay. The elemental pipe is not showing. I'm kind of down pawning off some luck and health for some speed. Just do a gem. Do we have that many gems that are doing speed? Let me see. Let me see. There. What the balls? Oh, element. Where is uh, the speed? Oh. Wow. Plus 40% speed. total speed. Huh. Uh huh. Turns out you can just gem. This what is, do you what, know? Wow. This is what I'm, this is what I'm saying. Wow. Okay. I don't even need to upgrade that thing. That's fine. 40%. Holy frick. Yeah, but 30 percent more if you were to upgrade it. <laughs> yeah. You could have more. Oh, 36% so of it being less. total speed. I don't know how to make these pass. Like, But upgrade. Elevate. But upgraded, dude. Yeah. What, you mocking me? What if I upgraded the me, uh, 30% here? Uh, oh, okay, I see. So I need another flawless gem of the samurai. Bro, all of our gems are going to get... I don't want to, like... I don't want to, like, take things from everybody, though, you know? I didn't even wait. I was like, yoink! If someone wants it, they can figure it out. You know? I tried to stop him. Okay. He just shoved me out of the way and if pushed me down. If you insist... Like, okay, fine. Just, just oh, it's gotta be that. four gem dust. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh my sure gosh. How to get these pipes to work. Bro, we're gonna need so many more gems, though. Um, well, it's a good thing we picked them up off of things. That is one drawback to using your, uh, um, digital miner is that we don't get, because I think you can get gems from mining a lot normally. Oh, it's gotta be another flawless. That's not flawless. Oh, it's just, oh, that's fricked up. Oh yeah, you my gotta God. Th get to upgrade a tier that you have to have two of the same that are both flawless of the same tier, and then you can upgrade them. It's a true iCarumba moment right there. Were you carumbing? I was. Well, in that oh my God, he Cut. does not want to sit Cut. in. What? Oh, sorry. I thought you were, thought you were gonna be like, oh, here he goes down the. He's about to go kill a dog. Okay. Ooh, uh, uh, Am I wrong? Wha? Am I wrong? Wha? Let me be honest, I don't even remember. Why did you have to kill the dog? To get the super duper sword. It it converts it to the evil sword, I think. Oh. Guys, well, I, don't I don't want gonna, it's going to take too long. I'm just the 40%. Yeah, I just I got that and, one and then you just and 39%. kept dropping it in the I'm just freaking uh, doing it. I'm just doing it. I'm just freaking doing it. Like lake and then it enchanting it and then dropping in the lake and enchanting it and it was all good. Enchanted like. Yeah, I'd rather keep dogs alive, personally. Guys, I'm just gonna do it. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. This is so fast. Okay. This is so oh. fast. It's fine. And I can hold multiple of the same kind? <gasps> really? Wait. Did someone just have popcorn? Oh, oh, I move. Oh, I move now. Oh, thank goodness, bro. Seems thank like goodness. Delete. Thank goodness. Oh, there are a lot of gem dust in the reforge table. Yeah. I mean, I share. That's so sick. Uh, so, where have you in the Maho? Where have you gone to? Oh, is it in yet? Oh, Maho isn't actually in any of the quests, though. It's just kind of a side that, thing, I guess. Huh. I thought that one said that you could hold multiple elements, though. Oh, yeah, we zoom in. We zoom in out here. Let's go. Oh, 
those. So elements is not that it can hold multiple types, it's just more of that element. Let's see. I feel so much more nimble now. I just, I just want to like mana. I just feel so nimble. It's just so, um, so it good. It should just regen kind of slowly on its own. And then as you train it up, I think I thought that sped up. Is that and different then, from like Maho mana? No. Well, I mean, remember we uh, with Maho, we had to go and uh, either Jordan would slay villagers, but we would slay regular things. And we it, had a real the, big spawner going, which we could yeah, set up a big old spawner if we wanted there, to do there that. There was a there was a ritual that you would run, and it would use a little bit of your mana. And then also there was the like the diamond, the mana diamond or something like that. Um, yeah, the the attuned diamond and the attuned emerald. Oh yeah. Um, I could go and try to fetch a spawner. You know, if we wanted to do the super duper upgrade skidoodles with all the, I think Apotheosis spawner upgrades are all in here. That. So, yeah. Do we have any roguelikes nearby? I can't remember. I can't remember. I don't think we've seen any. Are they? We've seen here? a couple. Oh, I, I guess we've seen a couple. Oh wait, <laughs> we do have. We have a skeleton spawner. Um. I mean, do we want to just? Swab a villager? No. A villager swap ski. What sort of people are you? No answer. <laughs> Suspiciously best, quiet off of that. I don't know. The best kind of people. What? The. Why do we have the and buggin as waystones? I needed to get there. I needed to bring you boys there. And <laughs> which which one uh, can I delete now? You're the one that made yeah, aren't you, Jordan? So probably are you yeah. uh, are wait, you wait, wait, yeah. having I room even, to I don't, I don't are even you have having yeah. room to talk even, right now? I don't even have yeah, yeah anymore. Okay, no, yeah's still in there. I don't have it. I still see it. Well, that's your problem. Why is it my? I I just I'm teleported. Deleting, the, uh, I'm deleting one. I'm in yeah right now. Okay. Wait, which one did you delete? Uh, th not the buggin. Oh. We we needed buggin. <laughs> we, need we needed buggin. No. Okay, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. No, I have I have silk touch. We're good. I silk touched it. We're fine. We're fine. We're good. Everything's good. I'm you gonna delete. Down? Can I delete the? Yes, buggin is back. Buggin's back. Okay. Yeah, you can delete the. Okay. <laughs> I can't really, win. Man. I can't win. Why did I go here? <laughs> I, I didn't actually need either. Oh my <laughs> either god. Ah, <laughs> uh, like Pete, you, I, I love you as my protege. <laughs> I think I just loop pinyoted. Why did I just come here to swap when we have villagers at home? It's an interesting question. One that is swap the audience. I who? I'm yeah, I'm gonna swap the what audience. Is this world? What is it? Oh, there we go. Cool. We have villagers at home. Hey, this is the for once the villagers at home is actually like we have we have villagers at home. They're good villagers at home. Like you know, how much mana do I need to summon the familiar? Uh, I don't know. Is that helpful? I don't feel like that's helpful. Why don't you know? Oh, uh, if I knew, I'd tell you. Prick, how are we gonna figure it out? Bucket of how are we gonna get our bucket of XP? What is our play on this? Oh wait, can I freaking take it out of here? Can I freaking go? Let's go. Wait a minute. Wait, this might be sick as frick. Oh, two hundred mana. No. No, give it, give it, put it in. Frick. Everything okay over there? Put it in! Ah, 
That'll work. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Mr. Anderson. Um. Okay. Is this air? It is. Ron, do you happen to remember what the name of the ritual was that gave you the sword? The yeah, do you mean the the one that requires a dog to be slain that I never did? Well, so how what was the process of that? Like how did you just took was, a sword and then you found a wolf and then you did did the deed with anything in your inventory? Well, I mean, you had to have your your sword. Is there any sword? No, your Maho sword. Oh, okay. That's what I was wondering. What's the like? How do you think, get the Maho? Yeah, sword? I think you're Talking ahead of. The, oh, you have to. His sorry, you have to make the. Starting. You have to make the lake. You have to yeah. make the fancy lake. Throw a sword inside of the lake, and then you use that sword, um, in order to do the deed. Okay, fine. Yes, yes, yes. But as I said, you can. Uh, you can use like a high sharpness if you have it um, and enchant it on your sword. And then when you drop it in the lake, then it basically imbues the properties into the sword. You can actually repeat that and it'll, you can level the sword up without having to go the dog murder route. Wait, Very I cool. thought there was something prohibitive about that. Wasn't there? I mean, I remember doing it. Uh, hmm. Yeah, because it was yeah, there was something Nether Star that you had to do, right? I think you had something that I guess you could do as long as you had Nether Stars to throw in. It was like repeatable, but if you don't just have a steady supply of Nether Stars, I don't think you can just keep doing that. Hmm. 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 Yeah. Try, here I am trying to find chickens. There don't seem to be a lot of chickens, but boy, there are a lot of Endermen. What the frick? There are one, there are Endermen all over. Yeah, why? Why are there so many Endermen? They wish to speak with you. What? <laughs> what? They want to suck your blood. They want to suck your blood. Bro, where are the chickens? WDCA, where are the chickens at? Yeah, what? Oh, there's there's chicken. Okay, cool. No, 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 no. Okay. What do you say? Sorry, I was trying to override the uh, happy birthday piano. I forgot about the piano on the happy oh birthday. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. God, that is just, it's so ominous looking in the in the distance with the fog on it with our, our, our ship of beauty. Not everybody has a ship of beauty like us. Um, okay, so, where are we going to fetch a spawner from, eh? Where would the spawner be? I wanna... Oh, and uh, that was one of the comments as well, was... Oh, we actually have one, right. Stop, stop breaking the spawners on the ship because they spawn uh, good stuff that drops big apotheosis uh, stuff, and oh my god, you're idiots for breaking the spawners. So, well, I'm just going to use the skeleton spawner, apotheosis skeleton spawner, and then well, it's going to be good. Where were we... Where were yeah. they when we started the series, you know? Yeah. They you should know, have been like, here at twitch.tv slash whatever our names are. Well, he's Pizza Hut. You're Captain Sparkles, and I'm Zine. Is that my name? Who? I'm just trying to help out because you seem confused in your oh, dotage. Hmm. Dota? Dota 2? 
Daddy, dee 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 do da. Nee nee nani noo nee yeah, Bass Hunter, that's a good tune, good tune. How oh, is that now, like 15, 16 years? I don't know, it's been a while though. Minus 10 minute spawn delay? Bum, huh? bum, bum. Oh, mi minus 10 to the minimum spawn delay, okay. Okay, so we need sugar. Um. Well, we have sugar. <laughs> we have sugar. Sugar. We have a wall of sugar cane. Oh wait, no. Is it clocks? No, it was clocks. Uh, minus ten to the mat. Oh, I guess it's sugar and clocks. We want both to to drop down. Um. Okay, sugar blaze. Oh, we need the uh, dragon egg. We need the dragon egg, don't we? Yes. Comparator? Why does it say plus quartz? Does it really just hold that much? I got big hands. Let me on. Oh, quartz goes the opposite way. I see. It's the opposite day with the quartz. Okay, so we need gas tears. Do we have the egg? We do. Okay. Uh, it's so good. Just it, sat on top of the fountain. Also, it's so good to be bump, bump. back to doing this again. What are you doing again? Setting up the villagers. <laughs> Here he goes again on our on his own. Going down the only spawner I've ever known. Like a victim, he. <laughs> 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 I don't think that's the lyric, or I don't know where the satire is going from there. Yeah, I, I was like, eh, you know what? We're done. And we're done. Okay, we don't have the prismarine. Is the prismarine, like, necessary, though? Got in corners, I see. Yeah, already. Um... Doesn't take him long. Oh, we does do it? want a soul lantern, probably to ignore light levels. Oh, we want uh, fermented spider eyes too. Oh, we're gonna actually need two different kinds of spawners because yeah, villagers do not drop anything for getting levels. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, okay, that's not good. Oorah. Oh, we need mushroomy poos. <laughs> oh, I don't need a lantern if I egg. Okay. The old mushroomy poos. Sugar. And we are going to need a lot of clocks. It's a good thing I've, uh, you know, got the smelter going so we can get lots of gold going. It's not hooked up to the uh, auto crafting yet, but eventually I'm sure we'll get it to be that way. Weren't you complaining about not wanting to have to set that up? I wasn't complaining about anything. It's just to be completely clear. Oh, yeah. No, I, I, Whoa, he doesn't a lot complain. of redstone. Let's go. Oh, yeah, right. I put that in. Um, all right, I don't know how many clocks we need, but we're going to do probably a few. No AI? Why do we need no AI? I don't understand that one. Uh, if you do no AI, then they just stand there. Like, uh, think of... Um, Skybounds, where it spawns them, but they just sit there until you kill them. Oh, interesting. Oh, okay. It's so kind of the opposite want, of interesting. It's pretty want, boring, but... We are going to want Prismarine. I'm going to have to go find a, uh, an a underwater monument. 
and get some Prismarine. And, uh, yeah, okay. And I also gotta go find some mushrooms. You don't happen to have any, uh, mushroom things, do ya? Going on down at the farm? Nope. Alrighty then. No, no mushrooms. Dark forest, how far away? 2,000 blocks skis away. We can do this, we can do this. It's time to vroom. He came to vroom, vroom, vroom. Yes, indeed. What the? What? Huh? It was like daytime for yeah, me, and what? I was like Just... sleeping through this night, and then it's like, uh, oh. Wait, did you do that? I'm did doing a do sleep cycle. Because I need to generate mana. My... Something happened that just, like, stopped my flying. Oh, that's just the flight prevention, anti-cheat, whatever that thing is. I didn't know that was a thing. It'll happen a lot if you're in unloaded chunks. Oh, it's a chunk loading thing. Wait, do you have a, a hammock? Was that what happened? Yep. Oh, okay. He hammocked. I only need Ragnarok? to right-click the hammock and bed 50 times in total. Uh, that sounds excessive. Yeah. Yeah, well, <laughs> what am I going to do about it? Complaint? I need 5,000 mana. What's that guy going to do? Well, I mean, we you can start doing the spells, and then we can get the, you know, that the villagers going, and you can get mana in, like, a couple seconds. Oh, I guess so. So it's yeah. just killing... Things gives you mana. Yeah, it wasn't even villagers specifically in that case. It was just whatever. Yeah. But you chose villagers because because they were convenient at that given time. Wow. Mm hmm. I would con I would switch it over to pigs, and I killed pigs. Many pigs were slaughtered on my watch. We also many did humans. do that. Yes, we did. We did do that. Why are you taking some sort of moral high ground in this situation? Oh, 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 speaking of that, exactly. You, 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 um, there were a lot of comments that were very surprised by my aggression to, uh, traveling merchants. Someone was like, man, Zine's always seemed pretty nice, but it's like he sees a traveling merchant and something switches in his brain and the chemicals flip and he just turns into a ravenous, like, Wah! he does. He becomes and they just were, a freaking and, ogre, dude. It's all and ogre they were, now. They were wondering why, where, what my, where my intense hatred of traveling merchants comes from. And in short, um, in most, like, I, I know that some people have said that, they, that there's good trades to be had in this one, but in the vast majority of And there are, instances, there are, to be clear. Uh, the, there's nothing that you want from them, and they show up and they just, huh? 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 Do like they hiss? Constantly, what? Do they hiss? Well, they drink their potions at nighttime. I can't. I can't. Imbi How many sounds do you think I can imitate? Like I can only do so much. Um. Yeah. Perfect. You nailed it. Um. But I just. It just became a whole thing. Like I just hated them showing up and just being. But I'm also someone who like I fill in all the holes around my base and and you know Sparkles knows that I I prefer the. Uh, you fill portal. in. Wait. Hold on. You fill in the hole. Or you make like, holes? Like, no, I fill in holes like that zombies might spawn in, like in, when you're digging oh, and stuff okay. like that. Like, I always make sure that I don't have, like, it j drives me nuts when you have a zombie or a skeleton in the wall and they're just making the, and you're just doing your own thing, and they just sit there and moan at you all day. You know, it's funny. I I had one of those uh, the other day, and people were like, "You did this to yourself because you didn't light up the cave you walked in earlier." And I was like, "You know what? You're right." You're right, but at any rate, it's really, it's, it, it, I'm not saying it's rational or reasonable, but it's just based around, I really don't like the, uh, the sounds of the, just them making noise and the llamas <laughs> all the time. And it just, like, <laughs> shut was, up. That was a good one, actually. <laughs> <laughs> can, can you, can you do that in the, uh, any future updates if they're ever re-recording lines? <laughs> 
I do wonder if that's actually what the llama sound comes from. They just went around the office. They're like, who does a who does kind of a horse inhale pretty well? It's I, it's an ex, it's an exhale, but that's okay. Knee. Knee. What the what the balls are you? Knee. Yes, you nailed it. Knee. Am I doing it? Knee. <laughs> what even is that? Knee. Um, but you know, like. I'm just saying it. it I, I just find him really obnoxious, <laughs> and especially it, it. So it was just it, it just became a, like a, a meme with stuff I do though. Like really, ultimately, uh huh. It's you know, it's not that I genuinely like. I no no uh, wandering trader like you know did anything with my sister or mother or anything like that as was implied. Um, or it, father. It, or father, or was my no, father? Maybe it was maybe it was the father. Oh, maybe you were born to a wandering yeah, trader. Yeah, and I'm and resentful because he was a wandering trader. He wandered away. I was like, yeah. Dad, and he's like, <laughs> <laughs> Oh, your dad was a llama, not the actual trader. Yeah, but anyway, um, and also there were a lot of people in the comments that were despairing at you, apparently not noticing that there was a. Uh, um, scroll bar on the trades and so oh like, you were, god okay no you no, no, were, like, no 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 this no, no, no. no. i'm defending jordan oh, immediately yeah on this, this, one. The, this is the scroll bar that doesn't work right yes yeah because it's just there by default work. and there's nothing <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 but people <sighs> oh my god he let zine kill that one without checking to see the scroll bar and there's just like no because the way the scroll bar works is you use your scroll wheel if the scroll wheel does not scroll then you're gonna do the scroll wheel Anyway, anyway, you good? No, it's just a. Oh, oh, that's a sore point. So, th this is this is where these things originate from. Um. So yeah. Anyway, reminded me. By the way, sorry guys. If things are lagging, it's because I'm trying to find an underwater monument. Um, Stop it. And yeah. I found a monument. Wait, you did? Where? Where? Well, it's like 7,000 blocks out, but if you need it, it's there. Okay. Got it. <laughs> Did you does, waste does it by monument have its own biome? No. No, it doesn't. You use the nature's compass? I'm, I nature's compass to deep ocean, and gotcha. I'm just looking around. Can I give a hot take? I... yeah. Just any random one, or... That's hot. Did you Nature's Compass is the worst mod to ever be included in mod packs. <laughs> Just because it takes. Is it right a cheat there? code? Yeah. Eh. Minecraft already doesn't have a lot inside every biome that you go to. Like in terms of exploration and then tasking, there's not a lot of tasking to be done. So then Nature's Compass just says, let's just take the only exploration factor of Minecraft and just make that redundant. I, see I just what think you're it's. This thing is a silly mod. Like, oh, I need this biome? Cool, go here. Instead of, I don't know, looking for it and finding cool stuff along the way, like the game was intended to be designed, but anyway. I, I, I can appreciate that. I mean, keeping in mind that, like, modded Minecraft at its most core before it's built up to what it is now, but its origination was basically just how can you have the game played for you? You know, like at the like that's really what it the the origination of pipes, the origination of build craft. It was just you know mining for you doing. Uh, a lot of it is all based around you know taking the game out of the game, and that's part of the problem with mod packs and, and playing them too long. Is you get to a point where you're like, it's done. You know, like <laughs> the system's automatically generating everything that I could possibly need, and all I can do is just click select and hand it to me. And that's when it's like time to start a new one. But mm. um, so I don't disagree with your take that you're, it is absolutely robbing an experience from the base game. But there are many elements that we're working with that do that. If you kind of think of, I mean, you know, like you can I say suppose. the same. You can say the same thing about the resource chickens. Oh, well, eh, true. I guess, like I, I don't know. Production is something that I don't think ties into the way I'm feeling about this because production is kind of why modded is so heavy on those types of mods is to like find ways to speed up production instead of just making a vanilla farm for that, right? 
But exploration is exploration. I don't know. I feel like that's a category that shouldn't really be touched on too much. Fair enough. No, it's not fair. Argue with me. I don't have an argument. I agree with you. Yes, I could use some unbreaking quite clearly. That would be a good Sorry. idea. <laughs> <laughs> My hot take was not meant to be agreed with. You know, I might actually take you up on the flying 7,000 blocks. Wait, do you actually have the cords? I will find out. Okay. It was wherever... You will go. I'm trying to remember where the coordinates were to the... Because it was on the way to the overworld bastion. Where was the overworld bastion? Would it be, like, quicker for me to go to the overworld bastion, or did we destroy that? We destroyed that. Uh, balls. Yeah. I'm now trying to find where it was on my journey map, and I don't know how to easily do that. Because for some reason, it looks like my journey map deleted that journey map exploration. Journey map's never been great to me um, for remembering stuff. You could try in the FTB map. And um, see if that so actually, matter, oh, it's because it was day. Wait, oh, I got so, it. So actually, people are saying that we do not. If I just use a Nether Star on it, um, I won't need to. It'll be fine. So, have we fought a Wither together yet, okay. by any chance? We have not. We have. We just heard conflicting answers. What did Zine say? Zine, Zine said, said we have not. I said I don't think we have. Oh, okay. I thought. Sorry, I misheard. It did. It did slightly sound like I. I think we have. Yeah. Okay. My fault. I was like. I'll I be better. Like, did, did we? Um. Okay. Where Where should we do this? Do you want to do this underground? Or do you want to? You know. There's the entire cavern right below us, or the ravine. We oh, we could do it. You know what? Actually, be kind of fun. Nether roof. Nether roof. Ooh. Okay. Yeah. That way, we actually like you know give it a, a fair shot. The guy who's all about taking his gear and giving it like a plus 800 armor and plus 900 damage is like, but I want him to have a fair shot. Swing! Oh, you lost. Okay, guys, <laughs> you want to come to the uh, just home? And I'm gonna I'm gonna set a waystone here. It's gonna be Nether Roof. Okay, and go ahead and clicky, clicky, clicky. Oh, I already had the in my inventory apparently. Whatever. Anyway. All right. Make sure that you have some levels, otherwise it will be hard for you to get home. So. Tell me what to do. Okay. I won't. You're going to tell um, me what to do. Command me. Uh, all right. Feel free to come on by. Oh, frick. I um, need arrows. That would help. Yeah, same. <laughs> you want to bring me some arrows? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Thank you. Um. So, Pete, did you get your step height? No, not yet. No? Are you waiting to make it even higher? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm already at the rainbow one. It's on six. I'm saying how high I can make that thing. That's... That's going to be something. Why do you think um, I'm doing the mo? Ow, why? What did uh, I do? Why did he just, like, uh, he's addicted to just hitting. Ah, fire! <laughs> and frost. What the? I, I just went frosty on that. That's. I, I'm feeling very <laughs> emotional right now. I, I'm hot and I'm cold. I also have some sort of, it obviously doesn't work on you guys, but oh, yeah. I, don't, I don't remember what it was, but something <laughs> at... Something, uh, like, yeets mobs away from me when they attack. Do you mind? All right. Yeah. Oh, there you go. There you go. Oh, here you go. <laughs> Thank you. You guys ready? It's like yep. a mega yeet, too. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta... Hug him? Hug him? I gotta... Oh, he's... No, Careful. Three, two, one. Kaboom! Are you going for the, uh... 
elytra hits. Oh. That was quick. Uh, Who got the star? Gotta go. I needed that. You were hoping for the yeet. I'm gonna die. <laughs> Do I? Oh, I don't have any. Oh, you food. guys got very withered, huh? Please eat that. I don't have type. <laughs> oh, apparently I had another row of hearts because that oh. was looking like I was gonna be. It looked like I was gonna we've be dead. Like, I was like, we've That's... forgotten what hearts actually look like because we have so many of them. Oh, I was I was into my oranges, but anyway, I threw down the. You just like the uh, you just like the yeet when you can get it to proc. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Wait, I wonder. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I wonder if I'm like in my elytra. You use wait. it to fly. Doesn't seem to. It's a per chance thing, right? I don't think so. It's it's pretty consistent. Zine, is our oh, sugarcane supply like reasonably good? Go to the bottom of the ship. I just wanted to make sure before I start doing a bunch of vector plates, right? Yes, it's very good. We're okay. fine. I was hoping killing the wither would give me like 5,000 mana, but it gave me like two. That's sad. Do you have to kill mobs with a specific weapon? Yes, it's a spell. The spell that you remember, you right click the little insignia on the ground. You and that's the, how you get the you mana make the from smell, the... You make the spell parchment, then you do like the, the crushed redstone, crushed redstone, crushed iron kind of thing. And it makes a right, little okay. symbol, and then you right click and it spins. Soul receptacle. A soul is trapped in this magical container. The magic of this item prevents you from dying when in your inventory. Oh. Holy frickin' sugarcane, dude. <laughs> Finally! <laughs> oh my god, what happened We've been trying here? to get you to go look oh at it for a while. You just, like, want to take a bite out of it. Uh, no. The sugarcane's got to taste good, right? Yeah. That's a stupid question. What is what a question? Stupid question. Well, like, sugarcane, right? Like, it's got to taste good. You know, right? I don't I think, think. Are you talking like in real life? Is sugarcane actually tasty? Yeah, I, I think if you think bite it into it, there's it's a bit like sweet, but it's not very like convenient to eat. I think it's kind of like rhubarb, where it's probably like refined. It it's pretty. It, it's sweeter, but it's not necessarily in its base form. But mm. I could be talking out here. I think it just ejects basically like sugar water. Uh into your mouth, essentially. Oh. Dude, three, the difference between him and I is that I admitted I didn't know what I was talking about. I just like the way you said it, just ejecting the water into your mouth, like a yeah. gusher or something. Eject that water. On yeah. topic of things that I haven't tried, have either of you guys said kale? Do I eat kale regularly? I uh, eat it in salads often when I have a salad, yeah. Do you? What does it taste like? Because I've never had it before and I wanted to like start eating it. Um, it's just it's more of a it's got more of a slightly bitter-ish kind of taste, and it's more uh it's tougher to chew than like butter lettuce. Um Okay. And it's got like a little more kind of texture to it because there's like more, you know, like neurals to the leaves themselves. But I think it's it is good and it has more nutrients to it than butter lettuce. So, so a little bit more bitter, typically. Yeah. Than like bitter. other no butter. greens. Okay. Trying to diversify my greenery palette. I've been on the spinach hype train for a while now. Mm -hmm. I wanted to try some other things too. Yeah, I, I think I eat salads more often uh, with. Uh, Kale in them, then I do salads with lettuce in them. Hmm. So, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good. Pretty what good. else do you usually put in that you know, like dressing wise? Um, I mean, it uh, like a the salads I usually get end up having like a vinaigrette or something generally. Big fan of vinaigrettes. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, I grew up. Apparently, ranch was the only dressing that my family ever knew existed, and I grew up associating <laughs> yeah. that with salads too. So I, I thought for pretty much all my childhood and teenage years that I hated salads. No, I just hated ranch. <laughs> I actually really love salads. Big Caesar dressing fan, Caesar salads. Really love those, but yeah. Yeah, I was uh, I was definitely not very big on the greens growing up, for sure. And uh, I think it's a combination of like having expanded my palate and also just, you know, trying things that aren't necessarily being prepared by your mom. Um, did have a little bit of variety to the flavor and it, it unlocks you a little bit. Also, just like going places with other people and getting presented food that you normally wouldn't try, but at that point you're there and you don't want to be rude. And then you try it and you're like, oh, actually, I would have this. It's a conversation starter, too. That's how I tried uh, ceviche for the first time. And uh -huh. I, I still think about that every day. Like, I got to find another place that makes good ceviche. Yeah, there's, uh, stuff. Hey, there's plenty hey, around yeah, here. Ceviche. Ceviche, I've known like uh, like a lot of people who are like, oh, ceviche, I need to find. You know, I mean, exactly, kind of like you are. Where it's just like ceviche becomes a mini religion for them. Mm -hmm. um, I'll make it my personality. I don't mind. <laughs> I already do that with water, so <laughs> like you know. I, uh, I I I mean I I really do like ranch, especially a really good ranch. But uh, um, I don't remember how, but I know that. In some way, my getting my first vinaigrette was an accident, and I like thought it looked gross. Huh? You know, like I again, I don't know how, but I do remember very specifically having a feeling of like, ugh, this stuff looks nasty. But I tried it, and I was like, this is amazing, and I love vinaigrettes, and and mm -hmm. I've since come to really you know appreciate vinaigrettes and stuff. Um, and then Italian dressing is also really good. Like, I've just like, oh, maybe I just like salad dressing. Maybe I just like calories. I, I think I just like things that are extremely caloric <laughs> and bad for me, you know? And, uh, um, but yeah, I, I like, I like ranch. I like the Italian. I like, uh, balsamic. A strawberry balsamic is really good. Ooh, I haven't had strawberry balsamic before. Um, or maybe it was raspberry, but I just wanted a berry balsamic. Or something. Yeah, but that's, that's just, always nice. That's always nice. Um, but yeah, the, uh, Black Pigeon EXP I, I doing the Omega that, uh, 50 I'll, sub I'll never gift. Oh my goodness. Balsamic, I was like, I don't know what oh this is, but I gracious. definitely don't want it. Thank you. And Thank you, Black Pigeon like, This is actually amazing. It's very swift. It very, looks very horrible, much appreciate. But I'm trying to get gas great. to spawn. I figured, you know, Nether Roof and a Soul Sand Valley might be nice, but maybe I'll just yeah. go under back to the normal. I don't know. That was the last you ever ate. So. Wait, does it need to be netherrack? It's actually yeah, vinaigrettes are. Oh freaking heck! Definitely up there for me on the taste palette. Love them in salads. Love them in sandwiches. They're just very good. Many I've applications. Ever had a vinaigrette in a sandwich? Nice, like a chicken sandwich. Chicken sandwich. That sounds like kind of like it a sounds messy. breaded salad. I. Uh, it definitely is, but it's worth it. I mean, like I don't know. Look at any burger advertisement. The, like that stuff is made to be messy. I don't think a vinaigrette's any worse. I actually, uh, um, you're right. I should have made the platform. Pretty much prefer up. my sandwiches yeah. kind of messy and and like I I hate dry sandwiches. Oh oh, it's the worst. Trying to choke down dry food. Uh, that's that's like one of my visceral negative responses. So yeah, I'm all about like you know like. Uh, the sandwich, by the time I'm getting towards the end, the bread's starting to disintegrate. I'm like, mmm, measure perfect, you know? Mm. Hopefully not before I reach the end, but just, just about the end. I want the bread just about to die right at that end. Yeah, and that's why vinaigrette is so good, because I, I also, I, I don't necessarily like tasting the sauce or any kind of filling like that overpowering the sandwich. The vinaigrettes are like, it adds that nice, not dryness to it, but it's not as overwhelming of a flavor. It's very complimentary to the protein. Gotcha. You can probably tell I'm hungry. My food just got here. I'll be right back. <laughs> I think he's hungry. Balls. No, come on, come on. Gimme, gimme. Gimme, gimme, where'd you put it? Where'd you put it? A man after midnight. What the heck?
Oh, there Y'all we go. Good? I got him. I got him. I was just wondering what happened with the with the thing. Mm -hmm. I'm dropping lava. I'm dropping lava. Good. Good. Whoa, that was sick. I just got a loot huh. pinata from shooting uh, with my bow and switching to my sword. Huh. You got a time cool. just right and picked yeah. it up, huh? That's dope. It's the whole shoot at the gas and then equip the looting to get the... Uh, yeah, I just didn't know it would also apply to loot pinata. That's cool. Big tech. Apparently those hold a lot more element than those little ones. Like, All right, guys, sure where do we more. want to build the villager spawner? Wait, wait, you're spawning villagers to kill? Well, yeah, I'm yeah, I'm just getting it. I'm I'm getting it prepped for, um, you know what? Will or we could not do villagers for now and then switch it to villagers later. Actually, you know what? That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Maybe right now I will keep it to skeletons. And then use it to get levels. And then after that, then we can change it to villagers later. That's a good way. That's a good way to do it. In the end, villagers will be dying. Yeah, assuming that, that Pete wants to keep pushing towards the, the goal, then... Yep, yep. I mean, I'm sleep cycling toward it. Alright, I'm going to put it way. down here. I'm going to put it down here. And I don't know so if I'm going to be able to finish... Mogus, but we'll see. I was saying there's another way. Another way to what? Way. You don't have to do this. You don't have to give in. I'm not Tell doing me. it yet. Like, if you come up with another way that doesn't involve villagers, then yeah, you, you tell Search me. Search your feelings, Pete. You know it be true. I need guidance. Let me follow in your footsteps. So, Jordan. Yeah, what's up, mate? You were like, hey, we have a perfectly upgraded furnace now. Uh-huh. Where is it at the furnaces? Oh, the furnace is on, it's just on the upper deck where all the mechanism stuff is. I see. You said that in, in such a way that made it sound like you were questioning if I actually had made the furnace. I think Zeno no. said that you didn't put the furnace with the furnaces. That that was the oh of, like, yeah, I just why kept it with the mechanism why isn't the stuff. Furnace we should... at the furnace. Well, because then well, you know if we want to, we could do another one. I just feel like it, otherwise it's just going to be um, for auto crafting. We'd have to run cables over there and stuff. Okay. I mean, just what, I got you. Whatever, I got whatever you, you want to do, whatever you want to do, me. I, I, well, you know Zeno, famously known for not ever running cables. <laughs> Sir? Hmm. I feel slightly seen right now. I do see you. Thank you. I'm not vein mining because vein mining would just eat up the entire floor. What I could do is put some efficiency on this thing. It wouldn't be the worst idea. Um, but yeah. Anyway, this is enough room. This is enough room for a little mogus. Okay. So, I wonder if I remember even, like, how to build mogus. <laughs> Do I remember how to build? <laughs> People are saying it's going to be ugly, and I take offense to that. What the? They say mogus is going to be ugly. What are you building it out of? Cobblestone. God damn it. What is he building it out of? Cobblestone. Sir? It's just down here. It's just going to be down here. You deserve whatever comments you get. Find a villager! Trade for terracotta or something! What? You know how much terracotta I would need for this? We Once we, we get have to... 1,700 emeralds, we can get unlimited more. 
You have the emerald restocker thing. We can use an exchanging gadget uh, in order to fix this later. Look, 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 look. Exchanging gadgets exist. Opium. Exchanging Opium. gadgets exist. There will be no other cobblestone in this area that it could possibly blend into and mess up. We can use the exchanging gadget. Oh, some good copium. Feels good, man. Exchanging gadgets are not copium. <laughs> Why is my 12-year-old son saying copium whenever me and my wife are around? <laughs> <laughs> is he watching uh, Peter's the Hut? <laughs> You're saying I invented copium? Yes. That's. I don't know if that's a compliment. <laughs> Coming back to uh, reading comments, um, someone had a big reveal in there. Uh, they were like, did you know that Pete isn't Pizza Hut's name? Dude, this this happens very regularly, though. Yeah, it's getting it's getting a little silly. Like, um, yes, it is, guys. Come on. Yeah, it, it's clearly his name. OK, what kind of idiot would make an IGN? That's not their real life name. Clearly not you. Ridiculous. Well, I think my favorite thing though is like people who come in and say, "Oh, your name's not Pete." So like, why did you make your name this? And then I'm like, "Well, you understand the pun in my name, right? Like he he ha ha kind of thing." And they're like, "Oh, why didn't you just make a pun out of your real name?" And I'm like, and it, it always is followed by the dumbest suggestion I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> Every time. Brandon's a hut. Randominoes. Like every <laughs> time. It's it's the same three recirculated comments. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like, you I appreciate you. Brand dominoes. Dang, that's a that's a solid one, man. Yeah, I know, really pulling that one out of the top of the hat. Oh. Oh. I gotta keep it from healing. Aw, oh, frick. Ah, oh, frick. What are you fricking now? I fricked I up this. with the builder's wand. <laughs> I have a uh, Enderman that really wants to hurt me, but he's unfortunately yeeted 400 miles away every time he comes at me. Okay, we're we're it, it's not there yet, but like, come on, dude, just <laughs> hold on one second. I respect the vision. Thank you. If you thank want you. to build something beautiful, first you have to make it ugly. Exactly. Have you ever seen a building in the framing stage that you were like, "Oh, that's pretty. I want to live there right now." I think when I was six, I got taken up to a mansion that was in that stage. And when I was younger, I was like looking at all of the unfinished walls and the support beams uh -huh. bare and through with no insulation. I'm thinking, I'd love to live here. <laughs> it's like a jungle gym, man. This, this I looks know. awesome. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen in my life. Oh, wait, I could just do that. Frick, that's so much easier to do. I have a relative who I remember going to. They're very well off. They got a mansion. And, and when you think of like mansion, I mean like mansion, mm -hmm, mansion. Mm -hmm. And I went there when I was really young. And of course, I didn't understand the concept of homes. But of course, I'm walking around this whole thing. My jaw just on the floor the entire time. And I remember my relative making an offhand comment like, one day I'm going to give this house to you. Whoa. And I... Dang. It's been nearly two decades. I have no idea what they meant by that comment. I'm pretty sure they were just messing with me. I can oh, almost bet my entire not... life on that. 
you don't th- there has but been you're no slightly like, follow hopeful. up to this. You're, you're holding on to that hope, aren't you? It's just in the back of my mind this little <laughs> curiosity of what did you mean by that? You like to be clear, like this is someone you still you know who this is, some distant super duper third cousin or something like that you never seen again. Who I have not spoken to since this encounter, yes. So this is someone who you see every now and again. No. Oh, oh no, you I genuinely have them. not seen this person since the encounter. Yes. <laughs> okay. But he hopes, and that's what's important. Uh huh. You hope they think about what they promised you, and. Mm-hmm. I just maybe maybe I they'll remember. Know. You don't know. Like, like, am I gonna just be living on my life? I'm 38 years old, and I just get a ring on my phone, like. Hey, the $20, $20 million ranch is ready. Come on down. This is good. It's going to be like great expectations. Dude, First they, off, there was a whole arcade. There was a, a putting green in the backyard. Oh, my God. Did you just use 38 years old as like an example of like over the hill? Huh? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> What? You said I'm gonna be I'm gonna be you know living my life. So I'm 38 year old, and then I'm gonna get a call, and it's just like the way you describe, like you know. The, the, Hold like, on, uh, this yeah. is not coming from my mouth right now. I was just giving a time frame at some point in the future, and I picked 38 years old. Okay, well that's what I, I mean. I'm just saying that like. Have you I know, struck a chord? I, no, I I I'm I, I my 30s were decades and decades ago, right? So. He was born uh, in BC times, I believe, right? Yeah. So it, uh, it there's no course. I was just like trying to make sure that for those people who might be watching in their uh, 38 them that they they understood them. that the, the slander was not applied to them or that it wasn't going to go unacknowledged. Zena, I'm a Minecraft streamer on the internet, who unironically will get called old past the age of like 20. No slander here whatsoever. You think it's really? You think it's past the age of twenty? What the frick? It's always younger than I expected, to be honest. With you. I don't think I was okay. getting called old at twenty, though. Mm. But you were. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know. Um, so here's here's the question for you both. Um, has have you reached the point? where uh you the people around you don't get older anymore it's just that uh um younger people just look way younger um i think that kind of happens yeah, yeah no I like that's, that's, that's it's a combination that. of both for sure like the i mean older i'm you... still very young in retrospect like 26 is not old at all right but i still definitely have in those retrospect like, you can be young <laughs> but I am um young. But yeah, no, like You're as so you get older, like, as you get older, that effect becomes more and more pronounced to where it's like you hit a point where it's like none of the people around you, they're all just adults, right? But you just you're, you you go there, uh, you know, you go somewhere and you're like um, you know, like I need to, I need to talk to the manager and they're like I am the manager and you're like you're you're like 12 years old. What are you talking <laughs> about? And you know, like yeah. It's just it's just you're like you you like it's not a matter of like condescension towards them as much as surprised where it's like oh my god has my perception gone that far and yes yes it has yeah it's a sense. couple of things right like it's one reason i mean even if it doesn't matter if i'm at a restaurant or whatever food service in general i will never get upset at anyone who's serving me food whether they're paid to or not right like i'm oh, grateful yeah. for you but also i look at you know a lot of people who are working fast food and oftentimes i think to myself like they're a good few young years younger than me like sometimes they're even you know like 17 18 right and i'm thinking mm -hmm. i'm dumb as hell <laughs> like i i have all the patience in the world for you kind of thing right like do your thing however long it takes whatever you gotta do right but i think there's also the what i call high school musical effect where you know i i was i grew up as a young kid watching high school musical thinking that high schoolers were basically like adults twofold you know, because they were casting all of these actors who looked 
so much older and were older than the age oh, demographic. Oh yeah, that's that they're that's representing. all that's fr- that's fricked up that they you know cast high schoolers who are like thirty years old and you're like I don't look like that. What the heck? I yeah, don't so look like then that. you know like when I got to high school the perception was kind of weird and now that I'm older I look at people who are in high school and I'm like yeah no it's just further off it just keeps getting further and further off. It's all I, 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 it's just very jumbled in my brain of like age perception I suppose. Yeah, I, I and then you. I think it's also like I don't know the internet too. When you spend a lot of time socializing on the internet, you're not constantly in front of someone's person, so you still have a general understanding of age, but it's not as direct as like literally standing in front of them and seeing their stature. You know, right? Um, all right. Well, cool. I was just you know. How do you unhammock me? What? You unhammocked my hammock. I did what now? Hammock it back. Hammock it back. Wait, no, stop. Hammock Wait, no, back. stop. Stop. Wait, aren't you supposed to stay off? The hammock? No, the spawner is not. Oh. Is it ignoring redstone because of the frick? Oh, frick. You is need that to, how you it need works? To add, you need to add the thing to. Oh, I forgot to add the comparator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we go. Thank you. Um, Thank you for reminding me. That was a yeah, s- yep. silly Billy moment. I uh, added 14 of the orange orbs for us. Holy pog. I am the fast. Okay, we are going to need more clocks, but... But... Okay. I don't know what Max like this. Okay, you've done the word. I've done what? your fault oh <laughs> i'm here for you bud i right. thought i thought you'd think that's a pretty cool uh mechanic are you uh are you ready to wrap there is sparkly yeah, I mean, I got a, I got a spawnerific time. Oh my god, what did he do? Nice. Oh my god. Nice. <laughs> nice. Oh jeez. And I mean, she's something. You could put it on a weapon for or sword for plus seven point seven five damage, but plus eight step height ain't nothing. You can just walk into the top floor of the uh, spawner if you want to. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you something. apply a. Uh, gem and you get that attribute couple things can that attribute overwrite an existing attribute like socket so no, you, you just, already won't, have you just won't have room to add oh so you have to not have it at all oh oh you're saying oh no 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 they'll stack like if you already have step height and you add another it'll stack yeah what is it overwrite or is it stack no it stacks, it stacks. yeah so you're if you gonna already have... have boost that have step height eight and you put that on it'll give you 16 you, yes yes sure and also, if your boots have two sockets, because that's not a unique gem, you could actually make a second flawless solar gem and add that in. Or if it even had a third socket. Well, no, that's what I think Pete was saying. He already has step height on the boots. You can add it right. again. and it'll Well, stack, uh, yes, yeah. I'm just saying that, that you can actually add the same gem multiple times. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. not unique. Oh. <laughs> uh, we've created a monster. No. I want to get to a point where... I can be on the ground level and just walk into our ship. So I believe if you got eight on everything and you had triple, triple gems, the best you could possibly do would be uh, eight times 12. So you, yeah, you could have uh, like 96 step height. Wait, where does the math come into play on that? Eight step height, triple gem sockets for every armor piece. You could have 96 step height. Well, no, but (coughs) if you, on different armor pieces, it gives a different stat. It's only. Oh, right. I feet. forgot. It's lower armor only. Or boots. Is it boots only? You yeah, might only feet. be able to do 24. Well, I was wait, thinking Dawncraft. On. Dawncraft, you can have it on any armor, any slot. Do you need a second socket to add more step height onto something? Like, if you already have step height and you wanted to add more step height, that would take up a second slot. It wouldn't add it onto the existing step height slot. No, it takes any no. gem you apply as a new yeah, slot. Each gem just goes oh, in a slot. Oh, okay. So, like, on mine, I have one gem in one slot for 50 base attack and one gem for plus 44 base lifesteal, and I could 
could have used oh, dang, uh, two 44 base life still. That's crazy. Um, oh, base attack speed. Ah, I see. Yeah. So. I see. They just, uh, each gem, you know, takes a socket for it. That's how it do. Um, at any rate, we would like to thank our sponsor um, for today's uh, server, Apex Hosting. Uh, be sure to check out the link in our description. You can save 25% off on your first month and help support us in what we do. We appreciate you uh, for looking into them and thanks to them for sponsoring. We do create these live. You can see that it happens. Twitch.tv slash Captain Sparkles. Twitch.tv slash Pizza Hut. And Twitch.tv slash Zine. Throw some follows and come see all the stuff that doesn't make it to the videos. And if you've enjoyed, then why not leave a comment? Hit that like button. And uh, if you haven't already, then maybe subscribe and turn on the bell. Anything for you guys before we go? And if you watch this video on a third-party site in bed, make sure to watch the ad. <laughs> uh, all right. Oh boy. All right. Wait, do we even have that uh, discussion in the episode no, at all? No. No. Nope. no, no, there's no context. I guess for them time for that. will tell how uh, <laughs> relevant me saying that is to people watching. If it becomes a big deal or not. I guess we'll at see. At any rate. All right. We'll see you all next time. Bye bye, bye guys.